and gentlemen, you are watching the longest running weekly episodic television show in history. This is Monday Night Raw. Oh no! Faster, simpler, smoother isn't the tagline for a new razor, but rather the mantra of THQ's revamped WWE 12, which introduces a new control scheme and an aggressive AI to go along with the ginormous amount of customization features and match types. THQ and developer Uke's latest wrestling game feels faster than its predecessors, but simple and smooth, not exactly. The good news is that the developer did more than just adjust the roster, slap on a new title, and call it a day. The bad news is that some of the gameplay changes are more questionable than Tyson Kidd's hairstyle. You're in trouble now! Oh my gosh! You have to be kidding me! WWE features two distinctive play modes, WWE Universe and Road to WrestleMania. The former has you participating in a series of official WWE events where you'll be able to pick and choose from any match on the card. You can play one or all of the matches, simulate individual matches, or attempt to interfere in a match. Oh, now that's how you do it. There's no story here, but you can add created wrestlers, adjust win conditions, and make an assortment of other tweaks to play the game exactly how you want. For those who enjoy the over-the-top drama featured in the WWE broadcasts, Road to WrestleMania has you following the individual stories of Sheamus, Triple H, and a rookie wrestler that you'll create. Bella, you and I are gonna dance. While the mode certainly captures the style and corniness of the WWE broadcast, it is often highly restrictive in how you play. Instead of battering your opponent over time and then going for a pin, you have to complete objectives that are not always clear. You'll find yourself losing an event because you didn't control a certain wrestler, move to a specific position, or use a finishing move when the game prompts you. Most of the objectives end up playing out like quick time events instead of true matches. He thinks he has it! The customization options help offset the disappointment of the Road to WrestleMania mode. In addition to modifying a custom wrestler's appearance, you can create elaborate entrances, finishing moves, arenas, and even storylines. You can also upload, rate, and download created items from other WWE 12 players online, extending the game's replay value. Superstar! Yet in order to enjoy the online features, you'll have to purchase the game new or add an online access pass. That's access spelled with two X's for extra edginess or ridiculousness, your pick. The online portion of the game was not at all stable at the time of the review, with frequent server downtime, disconnects, and noticeable lag in four-player matches. Yet the dodgy online play isn't the most concerning aspect about WWE 12. It's the action in and out of the ring. You know, Michael, when God invented Lycra, he was thinking about diva matches. Watch out here! Atomic drop! WWE 12 simplifies certain controls while complicating other moves. Each face button implements a different move, from strikes and finishers to pins and grapples. Once you're in a grapple, you can initiate an attack using the left analog stick or target individual body parts such as the head, arms, and legs. Targeting will cause extra damage on the specific body part, making your opponent slower, groggier after hits, or weaker when in submissions. The offensive controls generally work well, it's the defensive controls that prove troublesome. I don't know what that's about. The developers opted for a timing-based system for blocks and reversals, which on paper sounds like a great idea, forcing players to read and react to their opponent. Yet the system implemented in WWE 12 couldn't be more aggravating. For starters, your computer rival is quick to counter everything you attempt, and while on the defensive, you have an extremely short window to perform a reversal or block by squeezing the right trigger. And there's the monkey flip! A prompt to assist in the timing disappears as quickly as it appears, so it's basically useless. Even when you press it at the precise moment, it doesn't seem to register. If you do manage to block an incoming blow or execute a reverse, you'll be so stunned that it worked that the computer will immediately counter and start the process all over again. It's been an incredible night so far, and King, we still have that big main event to go. While WWE is more challenging than previous wrestling games, it's a teeth-gnashing challenge where you suspect the computer is cheating by knowing exactly what's coming and countering it with uncanny accuracy. You can dial down the computer AI's ridiculous reversal frequency for specific moves through the use of in-game sliders, but the imprecise controls make a major aspect of wrestling something you'll want to avoid. Right now, his head must be screaming in agony! WWE earns high marks for individual wrestler detail, with high-resolution player models sporting intricate tattoos, signature styles, and great reaction animations. Yet there are times when arms pass through bodies, particularly with larger-sized characters matched up against smaller wrestlers, and the transition animations between moves aren't always smooth. 
The 3D crowds are little more than filler, and the commentary team rarely discusses the action in front of their virtual faces. I'd love to be harassed. The entrances are fantastic, but after you've seen them once or twice, you're going to want to turn the time-consuming feature off and get down to business. Oh, Jack, your face marked up the floor. The developers took a gamble in revamping their wrestling series, but it didn't quite pay off. Fans will love the expansive roster, variety of match options, extensive customization features, and the assortment of painful-looking strikes, signature moves, and submissions. Yet the imprecise reversal system, online issues, and cheap AI will irritate everyone else. While any game that lets you repeatedly pummel The Miz would seem to be worth playing, WWE 12 ultimately feels more like a work in progress than a defending champion. Uh-oh, this is bad. 